Hey, it's Tim here. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a new feature literally released yesterday that allows you to group sections of your prep flow very easily. Okay, let's jump into the sample workflow here on the bottom left. And you'll see that this workflow um, is fairly simple, actually. It's not a very complicated workflow. The new feature allows you to group specific items, but there's a little bit of nuance to this. So let's, let's just start with a simple uh, thing. Let's say I wanted to group uh, this section of the workflow here. I can just select those two items, right click, and if I go to group it, you'll actually see a warning here. Now at the point of release, this feature is actually not supported on Tableau Online, which is why I'm seeing this error. It's also not supported on the dev instance of Tableau Online. So what you can do if you're just using Tableau Prep locally is just click use features and this will allow you to carry on and see the feature in full progress. But be aware that if you publish this prep flow, you won't be able to schedule it. Okay, carrying on, you can see that this item is now nicely grouped. I'm gonna right click on it and you can see here there's an option to ungroup it. And so it's a very, very simple sort of workflow. And once you've uh, emitted that uh, warning once, you don't see it again. So for every workflow, when you see this warning here, it won't warn you about this when you enable the grouping. Okay, the next thing is the ability to expand the group. So if I go ahead and click on this box, you can see that it expands the group very nicely. And again, if I go ahead and collapse, it goes and does the same thing. Now, each group still gets the same benefit as any step. So I can add a description to this group. So I'll say, connect uh, to a new file. And when I click out of that, obviously this applies to the group. And if I expand, that description disappears very briefly. And then if I collapse it, the description comes back again. The other thing you can do is you can rename the group. So let's just call this connection. And the benefit of naming it is that that actually stays with the group when you expand it and collapse it. So you can see that this is maintaining the information you want. And the description is actually available just here. And um, it's not available when you expand it. So just, that's just something to be aware of. It would actually be nice if the description was available here at the bottom but maybe that's a future um, fix or addition to this feature. Okay, the next thing is when it comes to grouping things that are not necessarily sequential. Well, what do I mean by that? Okay, let's try and group these items here on the left. When I do that and I go to right click, you'll see that it actually warns me to say steps must be directly connected and can't be part of an existing group. Okay, this isn't part of an existing group, but what it's basically saying is that I've selected things that aren't connected, okay? So they have to be connected for this to work. So there's actually a little bit of a trick here. If I go ahead and select these items here, and let's just move these down uh, to this bottom section here, what I'm actually doing is isolating this uh, top section here, and I'm now gonna select everything and include the step ahead. Because what this does is it connects all the previous steps. So now if I right click on any of these, go to group it, it actually lets me group it, okay? I still get this warning about publishing this to Tableau Server. I can still expand and collapse. I can still rename and do all the things that I'm used to. And so the trick here is that things must be connected. Now, the other thing is I can't put a group in a group. So if I select uh, these items here, and I, then I go to uh, try and group it, because the bottom two items are already in a group, I'm not able to add them to another group and you can't put a group inside of a group. You can't do inception on this as it were. So that's pretty much uh, the feature in a nutshell. If I just collapse uh, this top group here and right click and ungroup, you'll see that it basically gets rid of the group and it keeps those items selected. Again, what I'll do is I'll uh, collapse this and I will ungroup these items and you'll see that it goes back to pretty much how we opened it. I've just moved things around to make it easier. Now, if you want to, you can group almost whole section, as long as these steps are connected in one way or another. So let's just go ahead and highlight those. Let's go right click and group. And now you can see that that's grouped. And notice that the connection that was coming out of this has actually stayed outside of the flow because essentially the items I've grouped um, do come out of this group, but if I expand it, it actually came out of the first step. So this is another nice way of cleaning up your workflow. It's a really sort of smart way of thinking about this and making it sort of work really, really flexibly. Now, the last thing you can do is you can take a group and save them as steps for a flow. So if you right click on the group and you can save steps as a flow to a file or you can publish them to a server. But remember what I said, in this case, this isn't gonna work because of the bug that we have. So instead I can just save this group 
uh, to a file on my desktop and um, this will now be reusable in other places. So this actually makes using steps in your flow a lot, lot easier. Okay, that's pretty much it. That's the feature in a nutshell. Uh, I hope it's something that you find useful in your typical workflow. And again, these features were released slightly out of kilter with 2020.3. So these became available uh, yesterday. So if you're watching this video, you haven't got the latest version of Prep. Um, I recommend you to check the blog actually, and it has all these features listed out. I'll put the link in the description below so you can go ahead and check it out. And what you always want to do before you deploy Prep is test it. So if you've got a test machine you can use it on, go ahead. Test the upgrade first before turning all your workflows into the latest free release. Just make sure there's no bug or, or, or capability that's going to cause you an issue, um, especially if you're using server um, as you deploy the product. 